How's it? We good? It's good. All right, I made it. We got it. Awesome. So today, guys, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, with uh, two guys I've never met. We've got Andy, and we've got Wyatt. And uh, you guys are really awesome. I sent a message on Instagram saying I'll be in Cleveland, Ohio, visiting for Thanksgiving, asking for anyone to fish. Wyatt hit me up. And what are we doing today, man? Uh, we're catching some uh, steelhead. Uh, we're using eggs, we're using minnows. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Yep, never caught a steelhead before. I heard uh, I heard they're pretty pretty incredible, right? Oh, they're awesome, man. Big steelhead, nothing better than it. That's for sure. All right. well, hopefully we can get on them, and we're getting rigged up now. Yeah, I'm starting salmon. Andy, you want to start them on yeah, steelhead? Yeah, I'll give you a steelhead eggs. I got some good eggs, a secret recipe. Guys get, guys get their uh, cures pretty particular. Like Do they? They won't give out their recipe for how they cure their eggs. It makes so much of a difference. So this is something that, yeah, this is like kind of stuff I have no idea. So what does that mean, curing the egg? Um, so if you don't cure your eggs, they're just going to go bad. They're going to rot and they're going to smell bad in the water. Also, if you don't cure them right, as soon as you start fishing with them in cold water, they're gonna turn this like white color. They won't want to hit them. So okay. you gotta get the smell just right. Gotta get them milking. Gotta you know just get them how they want. Trim is just pretty much making them so they last longer and they're more durable in the water. You can fish a natural egg; it'll work great. Um, but we cure them up uh, so you can catch more fish. They smell more. They smell better, especially because gotcha. we you know we're fishing a lot of clear water. Yeah. When the water's high and muddy, it doesn't matter. Uh, but when it's low and clear, the scent and, and everything does matter. So okay, that is big stuff. So I guess we're mixing up the baits here. Why are you starting with salmon eggs? eggs? Yep. Then what am I going to start with? Gonna we're going to have you with some steelhead eggs. Steelhead eggs, and you're going to do minnow and jig. Minnow and a jig, yep. Cast into the uh, slow pool, let it drift. And I'm using a super long rod. How long is this rod? Uh, probably 11.6. 11.6? 11.6 rod, 15 pound braid, 7.6 pound leader. Uh, this is some uh, interesting fishing we're doing today. See if I can cast it out. I don't even know if I can cast it properly. Did it go? Oh, that'll, that'll do it. I'm in. Do you need to import any action on this egg or you just let it float? Let it float. Let it float, alright. You might see it knock the bottom a couple times. It's gonna drop it straight down. You're just gonna give it one steady hard set. Um, one steady hard set. And I mean not like not bass not bass. Oh, right, not bass set, like not one set, one like just go up and start reeling. Just yeah, pull up and start much. reeling. Alright. Yeah, we start off and uh... Did that bite? Possibly, yeah. You got to rip my bag, that wasn't good. Dang! And then we kind of go into perch season, and that's our strong walleye season. Oh! Oh, got, oh. Got him, you got him. I got him! I got him! I got him! Good stuff, man! Awesome! Dude, this is nuts! Literally five minutes into fishing, we got one. First hole. Good fish, dude. Walking back here. That's insane, man. Literally. You said it, I was like, he's still there. To be honest, dude, I don't know if you were going to get one here, but yeah. that's, you know, it's going to be a good day. I don't know how they fight compared to bass and stuff. Oh, these, these guys fight good, that's for sure. They're not giving up. I'm trying not to horse it too much, right? Because it hooks pretty. Yes, yeah, light line, small hook. I see why he uses long rod, this way it absorbs all that shock. It's also nice, longer the rod too, you can keep it out of the current more. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we, go to, if we go to a bigger river today, you'll see you're going to like that. There you go. All right, first ever steelhead. Ah. All right, first time touching a steelhead. Kind of looks like a rainbow, a little like a big rainbow. Yeah, they're just considered migratory rainbow trout as well. They usually get bigger, but... Let's kind of revive this fish. Just hold, hold it tight into the water for a little bit. Alright. Yeah, you don't want the current running back through the gills. It's actually not good for the gills. Okay, so. should I hold it straight just head like first that's then? Perfect. All right. You know, guys will swish them and that's not. The water's cold. Yeah. How no, cold is water? This is about 36 degrees. 36 degree water? Yeah. Oh. It'll be good to go. Here. I got it. Oh my god. This water's freezing. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, this water's cold. That's why we don't try to pull it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see you get a hold of it in the current. Well, I don't be 100% honest. I've yeah. never seen someone come out for the first time and hook a steelhead that quick. Yeah, I've never, <laughs> never happened before. It took me two years to catch my first. Really? Yep. So wait, so you, this, I'm the first guy you've seen catch one that quickly? Yeah. Yep. Well, you know what that means, right? No, it's not way. that I'm lucky that you guys are good. You guys are good and you guys know what's up. Dude, that was awesome though. 
That's so sick. First trout. Awesome. So where do you get these eggs from? Um, so early season, steelhead aren't in the rivers yet. We go up to New York usually, make a New York run, keep one or two female salmon, and that'll be good for the first half of the season. So um, these are real eggs? Oh yeah, these are all real eggs. Like, we'll keep them and they'll, they'll be fresh with eggs. And then we'll, uh, we usually don't typically eat them that often, but we'll give them away to people that like to eat them. They'll smoke them and- Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah. So how, how long will these legs, eggs last after you uh, cure them? Um, so it, if you keep them in the freezer, they'll be good all season. Okay. Until you come out and thaw them. But as soon as you thaw them the first time, that membrane starts to break down and it'll start to get real gooey. Okay. First time it gets gooey, it'll be great. I mean, because it'll start to milk that smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they love that smell. That's how, that's why right now you can tell they're a little bit like, I don't know, they're squishier almost. Yeah, yeah. Like compared to my salmon eggs, they're kind of hard. Okay. Um, and they love that. But it's, they start to get too gooey, you'll only be able to get like four or five drifts out of them and then they'll just be trash. Gotcha, gotcha. Making a move. So what's the plan? We're heading downstream? Yeah, this is interesting guys. Dude, you literally can't see anything. You can't see anything in here. It's nuts. How long is this tunnel? 300 yards. 300 yards? Alright. Oh, sorry. Am I slashing you? Alright. See the light. Made it. Whew. Man, nice little creek. And you said these steelhead are from Lake Erie? Yeah, these come out of Lake Erie. The lake's actually like, I want to say a mile, mile and a half downstream. That depth is pretty close and it changes so quickly. Yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, drifting down. Yeah, there were, there were big fish in here, I'm going to say that. Let's go for trout number two. That's cool. This egg, this egg business is pretty cool. Never heard about that before. Yeah, that's... It's like a new, just getting the baits in art. That's him, that's him, that's him. Oh, that's him. Him. oh, that's him. oh damn, almost. Oh, he's on, he's on. Did I set it? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Set it? I got him, I got him. Nice. Dude, that's, that's a good one. A good one man. That's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, oh. That's a big fish, man. As soon as I saw it this drop, is I'm like, that's him. Oh my god. This is nuts, man. These freaking steelhead eggs are crushing him. We can walk back there. Yeah, we'll walk Should I walk, walk over here? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get, try to get keep, keep real down to him. Don't even worry about horses, dude. Okay. We're fine, man. It's All right. Fish. Yeah. We'll take our time with them. I mean, you can still, you know, give them some pressure. Yeah. Them out, but, uh, thing kind of yeah, yeah, bob, yeah. Man. It did a thing. You know, <laughs> Look at this fish, man. He did not want to come in. No. Nah. Right time. You got it. That's a nice fish, dude. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's, yeah, it's bigger. It's definitely bigger. It's a pretty one, too. Damn. These fish are freaking strong. I know. Dude, I'm just pumped for getting the fish. Like, I, it took me eight years to figure out how to steal it. Dude. It took you eight years to figure it out. Yeah. I, I mean, it, you literally, it's just, somebody's got to tell you what's up, you know? Yeah, they do. Because, I mean, I fished eight years. I kind of knew what I was doing. But... I mean, you can go on with fishing knowledge and still not, like, know. Right. I mean, you can catch fish, but you, you're not going to catch as much, you know. You gotta God, it's a big old trout. Nice fish. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this is nuts. This is one of the best fighting fish I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah. This is cold water, too. 36 degree water. Guy ain't giving up. There we go. There we go. Woo! That's a nice fish. How big is this one, do you think? That's a four. Yeah, a four pounder? I'm gonna lock him. He's got another hook in his mouth. Wait, he's two hooks? Yes. Yeah, this one's been hooked before? Yeah, he's got another hook. Dang. Let's Eight get them both out well. and then let him go. Oh, is that a third? Yeah, look, he's got that one in there. Yep, I see and that. And he's got yours somewhere in there. Yeah, he's got yep. yours down there and that right there. How do you like that? All right, man. I have been them ugly creeks, so you need to get one of those pretty pink chromers. Wait, this is, this is, uh, this was one prettier than this? Yeah, so yeah. this is a darker fish. You see how it's got that kind of pinky? Yeah, yeah, I see that. What you'll get is you'll get, and it's kind of, we call these, these are green bags. No, I lied. These aren't green bags. All right. No, this one's good to go. She's off. Dude, nice job, guys. Nice, nice job, job, man. Yeah, Two fish. There's more in here for sure. They're eating the steelhead eggs, so it's like, you, you, we're all using different baits, and both times they hit the steelhead eggs. Is that just... Probably that's what they steel. want. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's they want. what they want. Probably gonna go to steal eggs. That's interesting. They'll eat the steelhead eggs over the live minnows, though. Yeah. That's, that's... Oh well, there's something about eggs. Get them smelling right. You, can't you get the formula them. right. You can't, you can't beat them, huh? You can't beat them. Yeah. Oh, you got one. Oh. Oh man. Let me get my line so we don't tangle. Yeah. Here, here. You can come under me. Come under me. 
And he's got one. So this is right after you switched to the uh, steelhead eggs, right? Yeah, I switched back to the steelhead. I think that's the way to go. We found the bait, bait of choice today, guys. Yeah. Or they did. They found we'll, the bait we'll of choice. We'll get a bigger one like that, but see how it's more of a light chrome color? Yeah, 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 it is. It's this one's lighter. Trout number three. I would have had no idea the action would be this good fishing in such cold weather. Dude, it's awesome. It's awesome, man. I know when I first heard about this, my dad's like, because, you know, we, we'd fish in the summer and it's like winter's like a six months break and we're like, just go to the river. <laughs> Pretty much what we got is you've got your clear little rubber stop, okay? You slide that on your line and then you put that on your bobber. Um, and then we do another one at the, at the bottom. And then what I do, um, I, I like to use leader. I mean, I know some people might have main line that's 10 and that's all they use, that's fine. Um, I use pink line, I like high visibility line so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Helps with tangles. Um, and then all we'll do is we'll tie a we'll tie a barrel swivel on with our leader. We'll put our I usually put my split on the leader. Some people don't. They keep it above. Uh, and then we've got our this is a size eight hook. Uh, size eight works. Uh, I don't usually go bigger than a six. And then uh, when when it's low and clear like it is right now, we we'll use longer leaders. We're fishing a creek, so we usually won't be this long. But if we're fishing bigger rivers. I'll usually have about a five foot leader, four or five foot leader. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a little bit of split below the float. Uh, so just so it sits upright. As long as that bobber's vertical, you're good to go. Nice. And then the three baits you guys like are, so cold water, we're using jigs. Uh, earlier season, we're throwing eggs, whether it be salmon or steelhead, and then live minnow, depending yeah. on how easy they are to get them. Eggs are gonna work. Eggs gonna work all year round. Look at this reel. What is this reel? I thought it was a fly reel, but you told me it this wasn't a fly is, reel. Let me get this all looking. So this is a center pin reel. It's a Raven Matrix fully ported XL. So it's a five inch diameter. Um, it's just it spins freely. You can put the clicker on it for travel, uh, but you don't fish it with the clicker on. Uh, you just it spins. Let me get this. It spins freely. Uh, it's great for drifting because if you know if you're letting your line down, you know let it out. Can quickly pull it back in you don't have to keep worrying about flipping your bail uh, it's pretty effective you do get a nice drift uh, and it's pretty popular up here in the great lakes so uh, definitely something uh, if you are looking to get into steelhead fishing i would recommend going with that um, but it takes practice to learn how to cast it took me oh yeah it took me, me like see, two seasons see. how's it how's it go so all i do is i pull the line off the reel and just let it go so See that one more time. I, I wasn't even. I couldn't even understand what was going on. All right, you got it. <laughs> yeah, let me look. All right. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, pull it off while you're casting. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of tricky. Some people they make it so you can pull it off the side of the okay. reel like that because there's no nothing there. Yep. But the problem with that is your line will get really. There's a lot of memory in this kind of line, and it usually gets tangled a lot more often. So you pull it off the line to for less tangles and stuff like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. So guys, that was a quick two minute crash course on steelhead fishing. So you're gonna have to do, uh, if you wanna try it, you're probably gonna need to do a lot more research. I know I'm, I'm at level zero. I'm at level, I'm at half a level now. These guys are probably like level 50. But honestly, it's, it's just a heck of an experience being able to come out here and learn how to catch some of these fish because it took you guys a while. It's, it's not easy fishing. You guys make it look easy, but this is by no means an easy way to uh, catch fish, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it'll, it'll take you some time to figure it out. And you got the Tostitos, is, is that a... Put my eggs in there, in the Tostitos. Is that a key to using a Tostitos jar to keep them If in you there? can get the salsa smell out, I like to do it, but it, it, it uh, it's kind of difficult to get that salsa smell out. Fair enough. So are we gonna be fishing this river the whole time? Just we'll keep walking down? Uh, as planned for today? There's one more spot downstream, and then we were looking to go to a bigger river if you're up for it. Sure, why not? I mean, we I know like the back of my hand. Oh yeah? Yeah, I fished there, I've been fishing there for eight years. I know the holes. Uh, it's been pretty beat up, but there's, there's fish to catch. All right. There are fish to catch. I'm down. This is going to be fun. You got him? Did you get another one? Dude, I was about to pee. Oh, you got a good one. Holy moly. This is going to be a nice, probably a good buck. Here, watch out. Let me pull it up here. Dude, I was about to pee. He freaking hooked up a monster. That's crazy how much they want these uh, steelhead eggs. Yeah, Literally, they wouldn't touch the uh, anything else. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a giant, the biggest of the day by far. I don't, if this thing comes out, I don't want to hit you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, look at that. So you got the thing in fast. 
Oh my gosh. That's a pretty fish. Man. That is a... See, that's the pretty fish we're looking for. That's that looks a little different than the other ones. Yeah. This one That's is... a male, so you got the big... That's oh, yeah, you okay, so the male's got a big hook. Yeah, the ones we yeah, were yeah. catching earlier all been females. Females, this okay. I... Yeah, this one definitely looks different. Is that... Does he have another hook in his mouth? Does he? Or is that your line tangled? No, that's not my line. That's somebody oh, else's. That, is that, this guy got hooked too? This guy's I think so. Hook Why, you got, oh, he uh, does. I see it. You got this guy's got two hooks too. Yeah. Want to get a length measurement? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's get a length let's on get, him. Out of curiosity, because I don't know how long these fish are. This one, I'm going to say, is about 24. Maybe less. Crimp the tail. Where's, the, where's two feet right there? Oh, you're right. Crimp the tail is about 24. 24 inch trout. Beauty. There you go. Thanks for that. No problem. Good thing about the scale, guys. Tape measure. Good to go, man. Oh, she was ready to go. Or he was ready to go. Nice job, man. Good stuff. Thanks, bud. It's uh, 9.04. Whoop. Uh, not bad. Two hours? We've been fishing for two, two hours. hours. And how many we got? I got... We got four fish. I got two. And you got two. That's, That's awesome, dude. Dude, you guys, you guys are awesome. You guys know how to fish for these uh, steelheads. Well, this is a nice area to do it, I will say that. Really nice creek. I wouldn't expect so many big fish out of such a little creek. This creek is literally just, it's like a stream. Look at this. And how deep is it right here? It might be, it, it might get to four feet in some Okay, areas. four feet. Whew. Well, now I get to pee. I mean, you can see them, but they can see you. Get... Oh, he's on. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good one. It's another good one. Dude, he hammers that. Yeah. Dude, this fishing is insane. That's another another beauty. Gosh. The female? Look, look, this one's long as this. Look at this is a long fish. That's a spawned out female. Spawned out, spawned out female. female huh? London strain that uh, I guess. Oh, they only stock the London strain steelhead. Oh, okay. Which is a winter spawn, so they'll come up in the uh, fall. Oh, they travel. Okay. Yeah, they'll come up in the fall and they'll spawn in the winter. They'll okay. come up in the winter and leave. So, uh, just by looking at this one, you can see that it's, um, you can see it spawned out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Very skinny. The thin belly and how beat up it was. Uh, what length you got? Look at the manistees coming in this time. 25. 25 inches. New longest fish of the day. How much do you think this one weighs? Because she's a little skinnier. Uh, four? Four? <laughs> still, still got some energy, though. Yeah. All right. She's already ready to go. Oh, yeah, she's ready. Woo! Dude, that, she was the feistiest yeah. of all of them. Nice job, man. Thanks. Fish number five. That was fish number five. Awesome, man. I never would have expected this kind of fishing out of Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, look at what we're fishing. Uh, yeah. It's, you know what I mean? It's like I never would have expected this. It's absolutely incredible. We're going to spot number three right now. All right, you're going to hit a slow, deep hole. Yeah, it's a deeper hole. There's... Oh, sh**. That's it. That's it. That's going to be the cast again. Dude, holy. That's the fattest squirrel I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. Have you ever oh, seen? Your flow, oh. Dude. Oh my goodness. That's it. Oh wait, my line's tangled though. Oh. My line's tangled. Oh sh. Wait, no. He's on. No. My line's tangled. Hand line. No, oh, damn. Dude, oh, I, I screwed it up. Oh. Dang it. My line got tangled at the top. That's all right. That's all right. Listen, we're going to. Don't worry. He's spooked. He'll hit it again. Oh, he's not. Dang. Gosh. Oh, he still got it. Uh, set, 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 set. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, sir. Ah. I'm tangled. I'm tangled still. Oh, you still are? Nah, I was googling on that one. <laughs> Someone else get it. <laughs> hey, you make. Oh, hey, let's get you in. Oh, you got him. Oh, oh, dude. dude oh. This is what you want. Are you filming right now? Yeah, yeah, filming. Yeah, we're good. I was going to tell you what the secret to these. Oh, the secret? Okay, I won't put it on. <laughs> oh, you want to put it on for the film? No. Oh no, don't put on the film. <laughs> <laughs> I won't put it here. What's the secret there out of curiosity? I mean I put You, you broke, broke off? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. You broke it off, huh? Yeah. So we might we might catch him again or you probably not. Oh, yeah, probably not. No, dude, listen. Well, they, yeah. No. There's enough in here that it doesn't matter. <laughs> there should be probably five or six in God, it's crazy how many trout are here. Well, look, it's nice and slow, it's tinted water, these fish. You gotta get this fish. Right? Oh, that's the one. I got him. Sure I'm not tangled. I'm not tangled sure this time. Not I'm coming in right next to you. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Double up. Oh, something's. He's on it. Yeah, yeah, on it. He's on it. You'll, you'll watch him suck it he's got to drop that thing. The one he had must have been huge, though. Oh! Got him. I got him. That's yep, that's a good one. 
Wait. Oof. Oh, we got him. We got him. Dude, these eggs are magic. Oh, yeah, bring him up. Uh, let's get some, walk him up. Oh, is this a male? Yep, got him. Oh, beautiful male here. Dude, this, this fishing is fun as hell. That's him, that's him, that's him. You got him? Go. Yep. You got to double up? Oh. It's not huge, but it's good. I got it. All right, we doubled up here. Ah. 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 <laughs> God, he's fishing. Oh, yeah, a little one. All right, I'm just going to let him go. Whatever you want, man. Whew. Yeah, Should I walk uh, him out a little? Yeah, just drop him right there. All right. This guy's ready to go. Make sure his head stays above the leaves so he can swim back. Above the leaves, okay. Oh, he's good. He's out. There you go. That's, this is awesome. It's good stuff, man. Oh. This is what, this is what we're here for, yeah. We well, got the smallest one today right here, but we doubled up. <laughs> That's a double up right there. All right, let's get back in. Uh, I started when I was like, let's see, maybe eight years old on bluegill. I always liked, I like wading in creeks when I was young. Yeah. Like five or six or seven. Then my dad introduced me to fishing when I was when I was like eight, but he doesn't know how to fish himself. Yeah. So I didn't learn it, learn it all. That's awesome, dude. Five there. Oh yeah? Eight charters, huh? What's the name of your guy's charter? Oh, his bite. Man, Got him! Good fish. Oh! Nice one, man. Jeez, gosh. <laughs> Get him out of the leaves. Get him on the bank. Oh, dude, oh my gosh. This might be my... Gosh, these fish are just freaking yeah, chunky. Female, oh, oh, this one has eggs in her? Yeah, these are the ones eggs. Eggs. Gotcha. Let's chunky. see. Hey, are they coming out right now? No. no. Oh, yeah. So you'll actually get the eggs out of here and make your bait. Yeah. yeah. That, that we, but not this one? No. Uh, no, we, you know, I've got eggs and... Yeah, I can feel those eggs in her. She's yeah. fat. What? <laughs> How much do you think this one weighs? Three and a half? What? Five? Maybe. Yeah, it's... I don't think so. Man, she's fat. Yeah, I, it's weird. It's God, I love this. <sighs> Quick catch and release. We are ending the fishing at this creek. Yep. What's the plan next? Our next move is going to the Rocky River. We're going to hit some bigger water. Hopefully find some bigger fish. That right, sounds good. And big thanks to Wyatt and Andy inviting me out. And guys, Wyatt actually told me that his dad runs a chartering company on Lake, e on Lake Erie. Yep. What do you guys fish for? Uh, we fish for walleye and smallmouth and uh, perch. And are so. you guys the first mates on the boat? Yep. Yes, sir. So if you guys wanna, if you guys are ever around Lake Erie and you wanna go fish with uh, these guys, they know what they're doing. I have a link to So Lucky Charters in the video description below. Check them out. Yep. And we're gonna go hit another river now. Awesome. Awesome. Sign up, fist bump. Sign up, fist bump. We oh, gotta do the camera, man. <laughs>